IBM is IBM, but we're neck and neck, and we're cheap. Technically. Now, the difference in cost is negligible. It just seems you guys at Cardiff think you've built yourself a fancy race car that deserves an outrageous price tag. It's a show about computers in 1983 in Dallas, Texas, and some people who are uh, trying to make an awesome computer. Nobody ever got fired for buying an IBM, right? What a fearful way to do business. There's no certain idea of what that is. So we're trying to figure it out. It's actually really simple. We're just trying to make a cool computer. I'm not in the mood. All right, why don't you go blow dry your hair some more? This is a time when the idea that personal computers would be valuable to people, that people would actually want a, a personal computer, a computer in their homes to help them live their lives, play video games, teach their kids how to read, to do their home finances on, to do any of the number of things that we use computers for now. The idea is so fresh and such a risk, actually. So there's an obligation to get it right and to be a part of, you know, what is going to be a huge cultural revolution. That's what Joe sees. Hey. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? When I say to Gordon, the computer's not the thing. It's the thing that gets us to the thing. I think he understands that. It's not about the machine. It's about what happens when we make a machine that's cheaper, faster, and smaller, and one that everyone wants to buy. Stop talking down to me, don't you? Look, there are a thousand other engineers we can get, preferably one you haven't bedded down with. So I think about Joe like a machine. He will complete the program put before him. He will be fully compatible. He will operate on all systems. He will remove obstacles. He will problem solve. He will add value. But there are bugs in that machine. There are flaws in the program. You need me, otherwise you wouldn't be here. That's where I find him most interesting, because he's not a computer. The computer may resemble him because, you know, as one of the creators of this machine, it's impossible not to imprint a little bit of your soul onto the functions of the computer. But Joe's not a computer. I mean, he's, he's a person who needs to um, work well with others. And uh, Joe, uh, is, he can be a bastard. This takes off. I write my own ticket. But if it goes wrong, I'm a college dropout repairing VCRs for three twenty-five an hour. So forgive me for weighing my options. See? Now you're thinking like a professional.